It was a dark and stormy night. Sheesh. On a distant corner of Pandora, where few men dare to tread. With the journey to find the elusive vault behind them, a fearless adventurer set off into the trees of... What's a tree? Oh, for the angel's sake! It's a plant that grows out of the ground really tall. Like this? No more interruptions. <clears throat> so, they set out into the trees of Jacob's Cove, a land very much ravaged and forgotten by time. It was here that the scientist Dr. Nate, who is totally not Dr. Z from the last story at all, tried to help all of mankind but ultimately caused very bad shit. That's a swear! Dude made zombies, okay? You're not the police of me. Pay attention. Okay. So some bad crap was happening. And it got really spooky. And this is when our story begins. Is any of this going to be true? Yes. Probably a lot of it. You're adopted. <laughs> Hey guys, Brad Duct Tape Hale here, and again, welcome to the spooky uh, 13 Days of Halloween. So, we're playing one of my favorite DLCs for Borderlands, uh, The Isle of Dr. Zed. Uh, I think that is technically supposed to be a nod to The Isle of Dr. Moreau. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to be showing of this. This is kind of a lengthy DLC. This might take up four or five episodes, or this might be the majority of the whole thing, so who knows. Misinformed zombie fodder? I am not affiliated with the Jacobs Corporation, but they've hacked me to tell people like you that they would appreciate some assistance with the overwhelming situation with the living impaired. I should warn you, though, that they'll suck your brain out of your cranial cavity like a crappuccino if you get too close. If you'd still like to help, I suggest you turn on the town's defenses. Otherwise, crappuccino. Toodles! Okay. Now, I haven't played this in years. Uh, honestly, I haven't played this since um, it first came out. I played this when I had it on 360, so... Alright, so that's done there. But uh, I did like playing it. It's a lot of fun. Well, I first watched my friend uh, Wyatt play it, and then I played it when I had my copy. Maybe I'm a little under leveled. I'm gonna level up real quick. <laughs> Nailed it. Much better. Oh my god, I can see so much better. I 
back out. Let's get these defenses set up. So these zombies don't chew on me. There's just something about Halloween and zombie games that are always fun to play. I know people say it's oversaturated, but I, I like it. Okay, there's the lumber mill. Nothing. <sighs> Alright. Ah, here it is. Yuck. Come on. There we go. Get any better weapons? Thirty. Uh, I would say so. Yes. See you at the Huh. Find a contact Dr. Ned in the bayou. Back in, never. Well that seems like soon, but not. If this crap ain't enough for your ailments, spend it night for a rain on the water in Jacob's coat. Fearless zombie killer! New missions are available at the Jacob's Cove Bounty Board. Where are you? 
There we go. Come up. Give me some EXP. Level me up. Target hit. Nailed it. More brains. Where are you at? Straight into the left. All right. Oh, hi. Oh, you know that hurt. There you are. All right, so Hollow's End. I'm trying to remember how long this DLC is. I, st I think it's three or four hours long, depending on how fast you want to beat it. <laughs> oh, he appeared out of nowhere. Oh, 
I'm trying to remember what these brains get me. <laughs> Alright. Oh, nothing better than a hard day of zombie killing. Sniper rifles, a slightly better shotgun. I think I got some better weapons right here. I didn't do squat. Oh, you're in the water. <laughs> Nailed it. Where are you? Wow, it's like I can only move so far. Alright, let's try and see if we can get the Dr. Ned. Or Zed. Or not quite right in the head. Dull moment. That's cool. So the zombie heads. All right. Let's 
up and to the right. I think. Actually, no, it looks like it's to the right. And all the way around. Wow. Come on! Live long enough to get to the doctor. Find some place to sell. Come on. Let me move. I can't, I can't be greedy.
Come on. Lord. <sighs> All right, let's see if we can do this. Sneaking up on my ass. Really? Oh, I do have a grenade. Give me that sweet, delicious health juice. This will help. Over here. Actually, let's see if we have any better weapons. Bunch of sniper rifles. Uh, actually, yes, we do. Much better. Much better. Uh, why? Sweet, you made it all the way here alive. I I'll get the lift down, but it'll probably take a bit to hand crank the bastard all the way to you. Probably want to shoot any of those skull munchers that try to land. <laughs> Hang on, then. Going as fast as these old hands want to go. Nailed it. Like you've never 
never had to wait on a hand-cranked elevator during a zombie outbreak before. Jeez. Alright. No pressure at all. No pressure at all, guys. But at least we have a better weapon. Where did you come from? Oh, son of a bitch, I dropped the dumbwaiter. Oh, my hand just let go. <laughs> I'll get you up. Hang on. Maybe. Okay. That was interesting. His little treehouse fort. I probably went about this all the wrong way. I'm a doctor. I make people better. I just wanted everyone to be okay. I made the zombies. I was never as good as my totally not made up brother Zed, and we're totally different people. <sighs> I need a drink. Okay. Interesting. Alright guys, that's all we got for right now. Thanks for tuning on in. Hope you have a wonderful, uh, spooky 13 days of Halloween. Uh, probably more of this is going to be coming. I'm going to be trimming them down a little bit because there's going to be a lot of just pointless shooting and run around. But guys, remember, like always, be like duct tape. Stick to it. Bye-bye.